Hello, and have you ever thought about rebirthing, resetting your life, or just simply taking a leap of faith? Now, my name is Liliana Martins at here at In Your Element TV. I am bringing you a preview of a new series that we have that will be coming on soon in conversations with. Now, we're gonna be having different guests and beautiful people here to share their stories. But before that, I always believe that when you start a project or when you start something new in your life, it is important to take some time for a little rebirth, resetting, or just imagine that you're gonna take that leap of faith into that project. So today, I want to bring you in with us at In Your Element TV, because we are going to start a journey, and it's a journey of in conversations with. And I would like to invite you to put some of your ideas and some of the topics that you would like to talk about in your comments box, because all our guests that we're gonna be inviting here that are going to keep you company at home and you are going to interact with us, hopefully, are here to um, discuss your topics, what's important to you in this important time in our lives where everything is changing so rapidly. So I just wanted before that for you to have a preview of how it looks like. So today my conversation is with you at home. I chose a topic of rebirthing because I have to say that personally I have been going through a lot of transformation, a lot of rebirthing and basically the most important thing for me and for the team here at IYE, we are going through a lot, we're taking a lot of leap of faith. So just to bring you in, just to let you know that sometimes it's not easy, but you are not alone. We are here for you. We are here with you and we want you to take part and participate. So just on that note, I want to share a, a little story with you so to know that we all go through these times together and that we all walk these paths alone. Uh, sorry, not alone, <laughs> I meant alone, not alone. Uh, I mean, together, you and I, hand in hand, okay? So just a, just a little story that's something that happened to me in the past two weeks. I was having an exchange of, of a conversation with someone very dear to me and I was just uh, sending a message saying that you know uh, Saturdays here at IYE is reset day it's rebirth it's the day that you take stock of your uh, week and then you analyze what happened you analyze the positives the negatives the pros and the cons and then you just take a proper look at what worked, what didn't work, and you can reset it and restart it. Now, as I was sharing this and I was saying, you know, that then you can connect, you know, to the positives of your life and you can change what didn't work, you can raise the vibration and everything. I received a question back saying, but what is reset? What is rebirth? How do I do that in my life? And how do I reset my thoughts? And how do I reset the, the direction of my life. And that was a great question because I tell you what, I haven't thought of it because sometimes when we have conversations with people, it's so easy to uh, share what goes on in our lives. And in this case, I was sharing something that for me, it's so easy, so, um, so ingrained in my daily life. Because here at In Your Element TV, we're all about conscious living. So we, we our principles are based on the four elements. So we work with air, water, uh, fire and earth, which represents our four physical bodies. So these principles are very ingrained in us. So it's something that we use every day. But we are here at the channel sharing the tips and tools with you so you can also use them at home and, in, and incorporate them in your life. But sometimes we forget that, you know, it becomes so in our normal life that we think that everybody is following them. So if you are not following it, please like, subscribe, and do not, and remember, I should not say do not forget, remember to notify. Why? Because when you notify, you will receive 
all notifications on the new content that we have in and you will never miss uh, those tips, those tools and those beautiful gems that we have to share with you so you can make your daily living much easier and in a very graceful and beautiful way. So on the, going back to, to my little story, so my friend was like, oh, you know, uh, how do I do that? And I actually thought, oh my God, you know, really, I haven't even thought about it because like I said, I was just, you know, for me, it's just so natural to say these things. And for me, so you, I'm so used to doing that. How do you take a leap of faith or rebirth or reset your life? Because sometimes, have you ever found yourself in that part of your life where you actually are limbo and you don't know where to go, what to do, but your spirit, your, you know, is looking for something for purpose, is looking for that direction that actually is kind of your yearning for it. I mean, I don't know, I'm saying this as well, but I, that, that's how I feel and I, I'm just sharing this with you. And if you feel the same, please um, let us know in the comments box. And I would love to know your journey because at the end of the day, it made me think that when you're at that moment in time where you need to take a different path, you need to go in a different direction. Everything, you look, it's almost like you look to the left and you see your life, or at least I saw my life, and you see your life like from birth to whenever, you know, to, to what you are nowadays. And I kind of thought, well, I had a great life, you know, I had moments, I had gifts, you know, loving family, beautiful friends, you know, um, achieve, achieved a few things in life. So you go tick, 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 tick. Yet your soul, your, your spirit is yearning, yearning for something else. And I tell you something, I don't know if this happened to you, but for me, I realized that no matter how good it was, how loving, how beautiful it was, there was still that, that there was still something missing, something that I wanted, something that I wanted more. Now, when I look at, on the right-hand side of my life and I look at what I actually think that I would like to go, do I actually have the courage to disconnect from whatever I have been? And I'm not just talking about disconnecting you know, normally people go, oh, let go of what no longer serves you. Go, Lord, let go, you know, let go, let go, let go, let go. And I was, like, I was thinking, but how can you let go? Can you let go of your mother, your father, your, your siblings, your, your house, your, your car, the kind of life that you used to have, the job? You know, it's, you know, I, I suppose that's what my friend was asking. He was saying, well, how can, and plus, and also your thoughts, your feelings, your things that you are accustomed to, things that you are actually, um, they are ingrained in you, yet there's that thing inside of you that keeps pushing, keeps pushing, keeps pushing. Now, this is what we're gonna have here in conversations with. We're gonna discuss topics about life and how you can take that leap of faith so you can follow your heart. Because the most important thing is to follow your heart. Because it doesn't matter how good life is. It doesn't matter how much many gifts life might give you. It doesn't matter how beautiful the people are in your life or how loving. We all have our ups and downs and we all have our challenges and our difficulties. Yet, sometimes when you are fulfilled and you know your purpose and you, you are aligned with your purpose, even the dif what seems difficult, even the challenges and everything, they're a good thing because they fulfill you, you know, they fill your spirit with, 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 with that, that power, you know, the power that comes from the love of the life and the things that you do. But the most important things, and especially for the past few years, when there has been so many changes in our lives and it has been so big, so impactful, you know, some of us have lost so many people, some have lost, some of us have gained so many people. Some of us have changed our life dramatically because you're forced to. Some of us took the opportunity and just changed. So let's talk about those changes. Let's talk about the brand new life that we are here to start and, and, that, and, and to take that leap of faith. So on that note, I just would like you to take, uh, to have a look, if you're wondering what a leap of faith is, at the full, because in the tarot, the full is that zero. It's number zero. And zero is 
when you reset. Zero is the number that gives you the frequency of rebirthing and reset. So if you are more curious about it, I would say take a look at the description, Google it at the description of um, the full, the card, and that will give you a little bit more information that might help you on this journey. In the meantime, please stay tuned and remember again to like, subscribe and notify. Why? Because with the notifications, you will never miss an episode of In Conversations With. So here, I with well, right now, I leave you with this invitation to come and have a conversation with me and with our guests. And for now, thank you so much for being here. Looking forward to seeing you in our channel very, very, very soon. And it's Tara for now. Bye.